How do I get from these kind of critique-oriented pieces into this later work, which embraces landscape in some form? We did the Amarillo News tape. So we went there with the idea that we're going to play within the language and the scenarios of news. And then suddenly this terrible tornado hit Wichita Falls. We were embedded into, you know, into the news team, into this event. So we flew in helicopters and small planes filming a disaster scene. And for sure that had a huge influence because out of that came video that begins to balance and look at extreme weather conditions and extreme forms of industry. So this is the dilemma, of course, with the sublime is, you know, what is the thing? And then the thing is that thing that cannot be described. In the terrible uncertainty of the thing described, it is this kind of moment of technological sublime, of, of sort of technological force in relationship to natural force that's being depicted, you know, that part of our experience, which actually matters the most to us, which defies the ability for us to logically describe it and put it into some sort of category. I wanted to create a situation in which these images of media, which is a kind of distant way of looking out of the world, I mean, it's being filtered through these devices. And I wanted to put that in relationship to a phenomenon that it was absolutely in the space you're standing in, that you could not ever turn away from, that is always there, that is always potentially going to express itself in this very dynamic and unsettling and you know, quite terrifying in some sense way. I was interested in the Tesla coil as being a very primitive form of information communicating and expressing device. So it seemed like this whole idea of this chaotic stream of information, which we don't perceive as information, which we simply perceive as this kind of terrifying display of energy and force arcing to these chairs, which have their own obvious symbolism, created this kind of shock that I wanted to address. Where should I go, you know, when I look at this thing? Should I hover against the corner? Should I bravely stand next to it? And I felt that it's both terrifying, but oddly liberating. I think that that difference between the world as representation and the world as fact, if we can make that distinction with the Tesla coil, you know, that kind of rupture that happens was what I was after.